what advice would you give to the new students coming to netherlands uh i think the answer is don't come 750 euros per per month what is the most interesting thing that happened to you since you arrived to netherlands oh but in netherlands people drink water from the toilet hi guys welcome to charcoal explorer and this is your host shanmuk ఈ రోజు నేనైతే మా చైనీస్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ అయితే ఇంట్రాక్ట్ అవ్వబోతున్నాను అండ్ వాళ్ళని కొన్ని క్వశ్చన్స్ అయితే అడుగుతాను అండ్ వాళ్ళు ఆ క్వశ్చన్స్కి ఏ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇస్తారో చూద్దాం నేనైతే చాలా ఎక్సైటెడ్గా ఉన్నా అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ మై ఫస్ట్ ఇంట్రాక్షన్ వీడియో ఇన్ నెదర్లాండ్ సో వీడియోనైతే చివరి వరకు చూడండి హీ ఈస్ మై చైనీస్ ఫ్రెండ్ నౌ వీ గోన్ షూట్ సమ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆన్ హిమ్ హై మ్యాన్ Please introduce yourself. Hi all. Uh, I'm Tung and from China. I've been in um, the Netherlands for three months. Yeah. So what's your standing here? Uh, Human-computer interaction. What language do you speak and say hello in your language? Uh, I'm speaking Chinese. Yeah, Chinese is my mother tongue. And uh, hello in Chinese is Ni Hao. Then how are you in your language? Um, it's me ni ha so well it's very difficult to pronounce man yeah 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 so the next question is what difficulties you face when you newly arrive to netherlands yeah uh, i think the difficulty is uh the food in the netherlands is so bad okay. especially for uh, chinese uh, chinese uh, china have many a uh, lot of uh, delicious food so when i come in here i cannot find anything delicious so it's very hard to find good food yeah yeah right yeah so where you stay in netherlands and how much rent you pay for it yeah i just uh live in the sans park of utrecht just near my my university and i pay 750 euros per per month and also uh, due to the rent allowance of uh, the government i only paid around 400 uh, euro per month so you apply for the rent allowance and stay yeah perfect yeah yeah right so how the students can find their housing in netherlands and what steps they need to follow i live in the science park of utrecht uh it's just near my university so it's very convenient for me and uh and about how i get this accommodation is i i go to the website of the company a, a, comp- a corporate with my university and uh, i just register but the most difficult thing is there are just limited house uh a studio yeah sorry uh there are only limited studio and uh, uh all the studios will be released at the one, at the same time and there are more than um, hundreds of hundreds of people they click and reserve at the same time yeah. what is the most interesting thing that happened to you since you arrived to netherlands oh the most interesting thing is uh i bought a bike and i ride a bike from utrecht to the hague at smalling i guess it's around 100 km in per day, in one day and uh, and also during the route i uh, i see many beautiful sceneries and some and some sheep and cows as very well funny so what is normal in your country that isn't normal in netherlands yeah uh, there's one funny thing is in china people drink water and uh, mostly drink uh either mineral water or boiled water but in netherlands people drink water from the toilet what is the best thing or rule or anything you find in netherlands yeah um people uh in here are more open and active than in china yeah cuz netherlands people they are um they have um more willingness want to talk with you yeah following that what food from your home country do you miss that you can't get here yeah and 
Um, the food I miss the most, I guess, is kao lan mian. Yeah, it's pronounced in Chinese. It's kao lan mian. Yeah, um, and because um, in Netherlands there are not much Chinese, so we have uh, we barely have a uh, Chinatown or something else. Like there are many places that have many Chinese, so I barely have a chance to 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 get some Chinese food. Yeah, especially kao lan mian is a very uh, small. Um, uh, it's not uh, a very popular uh, snack in China, so it's very hard to get. So finally, the last one. What advice would you give to the new students coming to Netherlands? Uh, I think the answer is don't come. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if, uh, if you have a better choice, uh, maybe um, the Netherlands is not your best choice. If you got some scholar and uh, you have uh, you. Uh, you want to eat delicious food, and uh, or you want you, you want to have a good climate, then here might not be your best choice. So, what about skill point of view? They can come. Um, maybe yes. Yeah. For study purpose, Netherlands is great choice. Then for food and climatic condition, they need to suffer, right? Yes, yeah, not good choice in Netherlands. Maybe uh, Italy or France or something else. So finally, that's all in today's video. We have seen a lot of things and then we have a lot of information and we have a lot of information and we have a lot of information. So next video, we will talk about the concept of Mewen Costa. So until then, stay tuned to Charpine.